I want to talk more about that as well as border security. The killing of 20-year-old college student Molly Tibbetts is renewing tensions about security at the southern border this morning. Authorities have now charged Christian Rivera, an illegal immigrant from Mexico, with first-degree murder in her death. The Mexican national allegedly used a different name and a fake ID when he applied to work at an Iowa dairy farm. That farm initially said it had cleared Rivera to work through the E-Verify system. Now it says, no, it was a different database. Here's what President Trump told Fox News' Ainsley Earhart about border security in that exclusive interview. I just think it's so sad. We're building the wall. It's already started. Uh, we've spent $3.2 billion on it. We're asking for $5 billion for this year's funding. The wall is going up. A lot of people don't know it. Uh, I'd like to build it even faster, but dealing with the Democrats is very tough. Uh, the immigration laws are horrible. Joining me right now is the senior member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Oklahoma Senator James Inhofe. Senator, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Nice to be with you, Maria. So you were at the border recently. Your reaction to the developments this morning, and where are we in terms of that uh, wall? Well, let's keep in mind that uh, we went through, and you're talking to the right person. I was a builder and developer down on the border for about 20 years, so I know the border. I know the Border Patrol. I know what they're doing. Well, I think that you have to look at the overall picture here, and that is we just came back from a, a president who was inviting people to come into this country and come into a, the country legally or illegally. It didn't make any difference. Let's keep in mind that between the last two years of the Obama administration, uh, it increased the applications for asylum by 200 percent. Now, the case that you're talking about right now, yeah, we know that we have a lot of the criminal element that's coming through. Uh, we have no way of stopping it. And uh, one of the reasons I went back down there, uh, Maria, because there are some easy solutions to the problem. And I have one that we're introducing actually today uh, that we've been working on now for uh, about three years. And, and this is and, the bill aimed at easing the immigration backlog, right? Tell, tell us about yeah. it. Well, well, what it is, historically, and during the last administration, uh, intentionally, they're allowing people to come through. Talk to the Border Patrol, they'll tell you this. They're saying that they'd come through, they made an application, they wanted an application for asylum to come into this country, and so they would say, fine, we'll give you a court date and uh, be sure to show up. Well, you know, two weeks from Thursday, uh, the court date came and they didn't show up. And so the vast majority of people didn't do it. They just were into our society and they're out there now. As I mentioned, that increased by 200% in his last two years. Now, there's an easy solution to this thing, and that is the first step in applying for asylum to this country is to determine there is a credible fear that an individual has. Well, that determination should be made before they cross the border, because if the, mm -hmm. once they cross the border, they're in the United States. So we can do that in our consulates, we yeah. can do it in the embassies, and then at the same time, anyone who does not show up for the next step in asylum, create a criminal bench warrant for those individuals. The first time they have a traffic ticket or something, we right. know who they are. Well, what, those what, two what, steps. What, what about catch and release? Well, that's what that's what they were doing uh, during the last administration, and and that's what, and the border patrol didn't want to do that. They were forced to do it mm. because all they could do once someone came through, they'd got them right there. They'd have to turn them over to some detention center. Of course, there was no capacity for detention centers, so they would stand in a waiting line, I and see. they were essentially released. Mm -hmm. That's come to a close. You know, Senator, a new Fox News poll shows that voters' priorities headed into the midterms this fall are the following. Only 10% of voters say immigration is the most important issue in, in voting for Congress, while just 5% view border security as important. Uh, the economy, uh, health care, these are the most important issues for voters. What does this mean to you, Senator, going into the midterms? Well, it well, it means to me that uh, this president, look, I know a lot of people really don't like the president. A lot of the media doesn't like the president. But stop and look at three things when you're describing uh, what he has done. Number one, look at the economy. It's unprecedented right. where we are right now. All the indicators are on our side. Number two, and I know this because I'm, I've been the ranking member on the uh, Armed Services Committee. 
what this what Obama did to the military was just shameful. We're now rebuilding the military, and this it's this president's direction that's causing that. And the third thing is, look at the judges. I mean, we're changing the judicial system where we have quality people who actually believe in the Constitution. Right. If you just look at those three things, the, between those three things, I think the American people are going to say, my gosh, well, good things are happening. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the outcomes have been very positive for this president, and I think that's why his detractors are going insane over it. They don't want these positive outcomes. Senator, one of the priorities for this administration, certainly before the midterms, is going to be getting Brett Kavanaugh confirmed. Are you going to vote yes to Judge Kavanaugh? Oh, of course. Are you kidding? Of course I am. I had a chance to visit with him. It's not just, I'm not a lawyer, but I let the lawyers make those determinations. But I know that he's a very wonderful human being. The things he's done to help uh, uh, friends of his. Uh, he, he had a friend who, who died, and, and uh, his widow, every time there's something happening that they need to have uh, parents there, he drops everything, goes, takes her kids to the mm -hmm. events. And he's just a warm, wonderful Person. But they, there and, seems uh, to be a he, new. He will be. The, he will be confirmed. There's the, no question. There's about a that. new pushback from the left, though. Right now, you do think you're going to have the votes? Uh, oh yeah, we'll have the votes. Well, the votes. First of all, we we'll have the Republican votes. But mm. if we're going to pick up some Democrat votes from the endangered species over there, there are about six Democrats running in areas where uh, uh, Trump is very popular, and so there'll be a bunch of them, I, I would assume, that will come over and vote just for their own political future. <laughs> it may be smart to do that. And, and real quick, Senator, before you go, your thoughts on what's taking place between China and the U.S. Is this getting to be, be a real trade war right now? <laughs> Well, you know, we've gone through uh, Democrats administration, Republican administrations for for decades now. Nothing ever happens. Nothing ever changes. This president decided we're going to take some drastic action, and I, I understand that there's some problems. I know we're a big farm state. Yes. Uh, some of our exports were concerned about that. But when I talk to them, they say, "Let's clean this thing up and then go back, get on an equal footing, and correct the problem that has not been corrected by Democrats or Republicans." This president's doing it. All right, we will leave. It there. Senator, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Thank you, Maria.